It's a beautiful day, the sky is blue, the birds are chirping in the trees, so I think it is time for a Garage Band Quick Jam. Yeah, let's have a Garage Band Quick Jam. Let's go. Okay, we're back in Garage Band here. Now to select an organ, we tap on the plus icon here and in our keyboard, we go to more sounds and then we're in keyboards. Now with three types of organs, we have the classic rock, the heavy metal and the soul organ. They all work in similar ways. We're gonna go with the classic rock organ here today. Now like all our keyboard sounds, we can play the organ by just tapping on the keys. And if you want to know how to use a keyboard in general, you can check out my keyboard quick jam, which I will link up above and down below. But let's dive in now to the organ specific options that we have here in GarageBand. First option you'll see here is our speaker rotation at the top, which can be slow or fast. And we just slide this dial at slow, it sounds like this. And fast sounds like this. And you can hear that the sound actually changes. It goes from slow to fast over time as we hit those options. And when you record in GarageBand, it will record the rotation settings so that it will actually have those available. However, you can't edit those. So if you're recording your speaker rotation, then make sure you get it right as you are performing because while you can edit the notes, you can't edit your rotation settings. The other way to control rotation is to actually use our 3D touch. So if we touch lightly, we get a slow rotation if we touch the screen with more force, it increases to our fast rotation. If we vary the, the amount of pressure we put on the screen, it's gonna go from slow to fast over time. Let's tap on our options in the top right here by tapping on this dial, and now we can adjust our percussion, our chorus, and our distortion. The percussion adds a slight chime attack sound at the start of the note. So with the percussion off, it sounds like this. With our second position percussion. And third. So it just adds a slightly different sound and gives it more attack at the start of our organ sound. The chorus adds a chorus effect and can either be off or on. And finally our distortion, we can turn all the way off for a cleaner sound and anything up to the highest setting for a distorted sound. And finally, this mixer icon to the right is actually our draw bars setting. Now, we don't have time in this video to go into details about draw bars, but I do recommend Dan Baker's video all about the organ. He goes into the Hammond organ and its settings and talks in detail about draw bars. But the basics are that our four white options are here are our octaves. So if we have just one of these on like this, it's going to sound one note. The next one. The next one. And the final one. So we can get up to four octaves. We can then use our subharmonics by adding this one and this one. And our other sliders here, these other brown ones here, are adding in different thirds and fifths of that original note. So we get this sort of sound now. So you can see how we can use those drawbar settings to create some pretty cool custom sounds here using the organ. And once again, if we record those sounds, it will record our drawbar settings, but there's no way to edit them. So it's important to get these right as you're performing because you can actually play and adjust those at the same time and it will keep those settings. And finally, if you've created the sound that you want to actually use in the future, you can actually tap in the top right, top left here, go to your classic rock organ here. If you tap on the save option, we can actually save this as a separate file, hit done. And now in our custom files down the bottom, custom instruments, we have our customized sound that we can then use in other projects. And that is going to do it for this GarageBand Quick Jam. Clearly the birds are excited about this one. If you've got comments, questions or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I've hand selected a couple of other Quick Jam videos for you to check out down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.